Hey, what's up you guys? It's Grim here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. So in front of us today, uh, we have this lever combination lock to uh, go ahead and store away all of your chest and goodies away from your friends. So uh, as you can see, you can flick down any levers, uh, obviously, and it's just, it, it's not going to open unless you have the correct combination, which is just this. I made it very simple. Just down, up, down, up, down, up. Clearly I can't even put in right but anyway, you put in the right combination, then it's going to open up. And obviously, if you flick any of the other levers, it's going to shut back up. But uh, you can do this. And then uh, it's going to open up all of your uh, chest and secret storage area down here. Now, something else that you can also do to go ahead and make this a little bit more secure is if you throw a button on, like, let's say one of the inputs or the uh, outputs or whatever, uh, to go ahead and open the thing up. Uh, what you can have is if you press the button after you put down the right combinations, you can press the button and then it'll open up slowly. Uh, so that like you don't know if this button is actually part of the combination or not. Anyway, that little demonstration is how this thing works. Let's go in and actually look at the redstone now. So the redstone is quite simple. It's like a, a stay true sort of design that has just been used in combination locks forever where it goes uh, the the levers that you want to flick to go ahead and turn off the and like disengage the lock are going to have torches and then uh, the ones that you want to have flicked if like let's say that uh, you it's not part of the combination lock and it's gonna mess everything up That's the one they want to have the repeaters behind but anyway Yeah, this is the very simple design It's not that complicated redstone and then at the bottom you have pistons to go ahead and open up your little storage compartment All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the building materials All right, so the building materials are gonna be in this chest down here. You're going to need uh, for this design specifically uh, however many inputs you want to have to put in to open up the chest that like the the little chest hidden area that's how many torches you're gonna want and however many levers you want to have like stay stagnant and not be pushed you're gonna need that number of repeaters so uh go ahead and add this up to however many levers you have in this design is going to be 10 so you just need 10 of uh redstone torches and repeaters like add up to the number 10. you also need 13 dust 10 levers you will need five sticky pistons your block of choice and five chests all right, so to start off the tutorial, you're going to want to get yourself a 5x5 area. Now, what I like doing is finding out where all of your chests are going to be. So uh, go ahead and place all your chests in a line. And if you get something like this, if you want them to be individual or if you want them to have like two doubles and one in the middle, or if you want them to all be individual, go ahead and go like this. Place one down in the corner, place one here, then connect it to this chest. Break that and then keep doing this. And then you can eventually just get five single chests right there. All right, so once you have that, you can go ahead and build up a line of blocks right here and then a line of sticky pistons right here next up fly around to the back side and then go ahead and flatten out this area a little bit and then go three more blocks back right here all right once you have this go back up to the front and place down your wall of blocks uh, this is going to be a lever row this is going to be an empty row and then this is also going to be a lever row so it's going to need to be three blocks high all right now this is where it uh, becomes like a totally up to you kind of a thing so come in here and uh, whichever like whatever you want to have like a lever be flicked go ahead and place a torch there and like let's say i want this one to be flicked too so i'm going to place a torch there as well and then i'm just going to place repeaters in for every single other piston all right and then go ahead and place a line down here and do the exact same thing on the uh the top as well so i want uh you know let's just go with all these and then uh let's go and put a repeater right here so that's my combination lock right there you guys can all make your own little custom design and uh, do whatever you want with it all right then go ahead and just pull out this uh another block and then go ahead and place some redstone down and then place a block right here and just fill in every single empty block with redstone dust all right come back to the front go ahead and place some blocks over your chest and then place down your levers on both of these rows and if we can go ahead and test this out uh i think it was this and this it should open up yep as you can see there it opened up put in one wrong input and it's going to go ahead and shut all right so i went ahead and added this in like sort of a, as an add-on thing uh just for one more layer of protection go ahead and if you want to this is completely optional put a button right here uh and then place a torch on the back of it and then place a uh two blocks right here and then place a piece of redstone here and then place a block here and another button up here which has a repeater into it which will uh, have redstone going into here so that you can put in the entire combination, right? So I, I believe it was this, that, no, uh, all these, and then this and this. Let's go and make sure I have the right, okay. And then if you press this button, then if you press this button, it's still not gonna open up. But if you press this button, 
yeah this lever wasn't pressed down so if you press this button it's still not going to open up but if you go ahead and press this button it's going to open up for you you can get in really quick and it's going to shut behind you so if your friends do walk in they'll just uh well they'll wonder why you're just looking at the ground all right and you can obviously go ahead and like put the buttons on either side too you can uh go ahead and mix and mash them but anyway that is how you make a very simple easy uh little lockout system for your friends uh this was a request from a couple subscribers uh, a couple of people were asking for a kagoomer and a couple of people were asking for a combination lock so i just went ahead and put them in both like both into one video and one small design so i'm hoping that you guys really enjoy that and uh if you like this content make sure that you uh like the video and check out the rest of my channel if you love it maybe uh maybe consider subscribing uh go ahead and check out the discord server link in the video description uh i have got a couple of guys on there and uh we hang out we talk we uh talk about possible video ideas i did give out like a couple sneak peeks and stuff on there so go ahead and check that out if you're interested uh patreon obviously that's completely up to you however i would greatly appreciate it if you did with all that being said though i have been grim i'll see you in the next one peace out